Okay, six years on YouTube and I have never done a room tour, what I call my mat cave. So guys, it is finally here. Nothing can stop this moment. Let's get on with it. Whoa! Wash your freaking hands before you go in there! Okay, jeez, take it easy. Here we go! Okay guys, so hands are washed, let's get into this room, ta-da, so, okay, so here is the room, yeah, and that's it, so let's go, <laughs> okay, just kidding, All right, let's close this door, okay, there's nothing on here apart from some dressing gowns and hoodies okay yeah so welcome to my math cave this is where i store all my games all my collection pretty much anyway there's some other areas um so if i stand back a bit i'll just show you this corner this is where a lot of my goodies are kept as soon as you walk into the room so let's start with this uh cabinet over here lovely white oak so I've got all my PlayStation 4 games on the top shelf here, as you can see. We're not going to go through them all because that would take us ages, and I have done a PlayStation 4 collection video. So go back and check that out. So basically, this shelf, um, I put every game that I've completed at the top, or that I've kind of don't want to play anymore, I've had enough of it. I mean, games like Flashback Classics, um, you can go back and forth into all the time. Uh, also got on here, because I've put them nowhere else at the moment, yeah. is my Turtles card collection. So I think I've got a full set of that I got off eBay. Um, also, the Nintendo Switch games I've completed. There you go, awesome titles. Currently playing Luigi's Mansion 3, really enjoying it. And underneath that, we have got a receipt from CEX. But we've also got Cena Warrior Princess on the snares. No, Nintendo 64, what am I talking about? Do. Okay, coming down then, this shelf by here is what I normally uh, uh, keep for, well, the games I put here are normally the ones I still have to play. So all, all the PlayStation 3 games I've got to play. These are just some DVDs I've got to kind of watch, the complete series of Speed Racer, Incredibles 1 and 2, but now I've got Disney Plus. I don't need that, do I? So I might sell that on. And Die Hard Collection, I've only watched the first film of that so far. Um, here we go. I don't know why... Um, Dead Eye Duck is over here. This is a variant Dead Eye Duck action figure in his stealth uh, costume. It never was a stealth uh, costume, by the way, in the cartoon, as far as I'm aware, or the, the comics. Maybe the comics, I don't know. But Boss Fight Studios decided to do variants of Bucky, Jenny, and Dead Eye. I don't know, it's a mini maker, isn't it? Yep, so then, got all the PlayStation 4 games I've got to play. A couple of random books here. These came from Interghost, actually, a long time ago. He sent me um, a box of goodies, and I've got two PlayStation 2 games I've bought recently. I started playing Biker Mice from Mars. I have done Son of the Enders second run, but these need to go away now somewhere. Okay, so on the next shelf down, we have my animation collection, like cartoons and anime, for example. We've got anime called Spiral, we've got Captain Harlock, and then we've got stuff like Shrek, Space Ghost, Simpsons, uh, Spider-Man Classic 67 collection, Super Ted, Thundercats, Tintin, it goes on, Victory Gundam, uh, Noreen, which translates as to your other self. Um, so yeah, I've got DVDs behind these as well, just like animated things. Coming down here then, we have uh, live action kind of things. Mainly PVC, we've got some space, we've got a couple of Muppets. They can possibly go now as well. Uh, so you can one of my favourite series of all time, The X-Files. Absolutely love that. And another favorite of mine, Xena Warrior Princess, I've got all of those. So if we continue to go down, I am down on the floor. Uh, and this is the shelf I keep all my Blu-rays. So there we go, some films there, some collections. The Muppet Bumper box set, awesome. Stand By Me, one of my favorites of all time. Turtles, I've got Ghostbusters here somewhere as well. Um, and then the bottom is pretty much more the same. 
Um, I've got some anime, got my Marine Boy Seasons, um, Black Butler, another favourite of mine, Mobile Suit Gundam 1 and 2. Uh, some, some, and, uh, so we've got Disney, Ralph Breaks the Internet, and then we've got DC films, Batman, Ninja Turtles, or vs. Ninja Turtles, Reign of Superman, yeah, a lot of Batman stuff, Detective Pikachu, there you go, Coco, one of my all-time favourite films, Heart and Souls, that's in my top five, I know, um, Colossal Vids loves that as well, Hook, uh, and then, Family Holidays, those are my home videos, I'm sure we don't want to see those, okay, so, what I'm going to do now, guys, quick jump cut. Okay, we are now, oh my gosh, I do apologise. <laughs> we are now at the top of the shelf. Or shelf, shall I say. Uh, so, I figured as I never done a room tour, I may as well show you everything. Um, Retro Claimer was the one who suggested, well, he asked me, he said, have you done a room tour? And so, I was like, no, so I can't believe you've never done a room tour. So, I was like, yeah, I guess you've got a point. Okay, so this is some of the stuff I keep on the top. We do have an It figure. I think this is on NECA Toys. I love Derry. I'm like, I do apologise if you're scared of clowns or something. Especially as he's got Georgie's arm there. Poor Georgie. One of my favourite films, books as well of all time. Absolutely love the story. Very well written. A bit controversial in some parts, Mr King. Okay, we'll put that down here a minute. Okay, so, so now I have a collection. Batman, the complete Silver Age daily and Sunday newspaper comics from 1966-1972. So these come in like three big bumper books here, and it is a collection of daily comic strips all put together. Um, quite cool, I've got through quite a bit of that. But I also bought then the dailies from 1943 to 1946. That's just one big book. So you go. I don't want to um, get these out too much because they are quite heavy. So I just put this to one side. I mean, oh my gosh, that's why I'm left-handed, not right-handed. That one's especially heavy. Okay, we'll start with the left. Okay, so right here we have my box of cereal. I call it because it does look like a box of cereal. Uh, Attack and Titan Wings of Freedom Special Edition set. Um, I can't remember what comes with it. Like an anime book. Probably says on the back, right? There you go. That's everything it comes with. A uh, big fan of the anime. Still got to watch season three, that reminds me. Um, yeah, but that is one of my special edition sets. We've got a Batman. Love the Batman 66 series. It's so camp, but it's so hilarious and good to watch. It's fun. Yep, so we've got Batman still in the box, never taken out. Rest in peace, Adam West. Uh, at the bottom, we've got the, Bat the Batmobile. And we have got Batman and Robin, if you can see, if I took the camera up. I'm on a chair here, so I'm trying to fall. Um, yeah, I've never opened that as well, so that's still in mint condition. And by here is my Batman Blu-ray collection of the entire series, 1, 2 and 3. Comes with Batman cards, an art book inside, um, like the Hot Wheels Batmobile. It did used to play the theme song on the side, but that's kind of... Um, Gone now. The battery, I mean. I mean, it hasn't gone. It's still there. Okay, so by here now, I have a bit of my Japanese collection. Um, let me show you these two, because these two are great. At the top, then. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, this is Rainbow Sentai Robin. I just love the artwork on these two box sets by here. Get rid of the glare of light there. Um, these are all in Japanese, so yeah, I don't watch it, so it is difficult. But um, it's basically about a boy. Robin, who um, commands a army of robots to fight against crime and stuff. Uh, one I discovered online a long time ago after I discovered Marine Boy. When I just first discovered Marine Boy um, back in the, well, back in the year 2000s, I think it was, went on, bought the Japanese box sets, and I decided to search for more like 60s Japanese anime, and these are the ones I found. So, by here, I won't get them all out. We've got Prince Planet. He's like an alien from another planet that crash lands and decides to help um, mankind out as well. It's kind of a theme of these ones. Superjetta, I think he's like an agent from the future or something like that. Once again, crash lands on Earth. Um, yeah, so we've got two series of that. I think this one by here is complete black and white, and I think this one is the colour collection, which makes sense. Colour, black and white. Uh, by this this one is actually, oh, what's it called? 
I can't remember what it's called in English. It's um some kind of pirate. So I've got that collection, then we've got Space Boy Soran. Uh once again that is a boy from space that comes down. And then we've got a space ace on the end there. Uh, we've got a pop here, Chucky on this card from Charles Play 2. I know Gaz said Steve will appreciate that. And a few more of my Japanese collection then. Johnny Socko and his flying robot. That's basically like giant robo anime, if you're not sure. Uh, that is dubbed. Got Giganto. That's another kind of giant robo anime. Volume 2, I haven't got Volume 1 because it goes for stupid prices. Uh, this is all in Japanese. I can't remember when I got this. Uh, it's called Zone End. It's kind of like a Power Rangers Ultraman thing, I think. And then I bought these when I was in Japan. Um, what's it called? Kazuku Esper. Translates as Lightspeed Esper. Uh, basically about a boy who gets kidnapped by the government and then made to uh, work for them, I think. Fight against aliens and stuff. As you do. Okay, so what else do we have up here? More gaming collection now then. Uh, this is my Nino Kuni 2 uh, music box. One second. So the characters move around. We've got Prince Evan. Roland's assistant, and I can't remember what she's called. Okay, so moving on. That's going to keep playing now, isn't it? Okay, it's finally stopped. So we've got two more pops here. We've got Xena, Royal Princess, still in the box, because my best friend bought it for... <laughs> my best friend bought it for me, and she gets furious when I take things out of the box, even though I like them on display, as you'll see later on behind me. Um, so I haven't dared take that one out. And then something else Gas and Steve will appreciate. Another Penny Rise uh, pop there with teeth. <clears throat> Do apologise once again if anybody's scared of clowns. Okay, so on top of the shelf we have some lovely Mr. Sheen uh, multi-service polish. The height of my collection. Okay, so we have some postcards from No Man's Sky. I'm not that fun, uh, fond of that game. We've got art, uh, Tomb Raider Underworld art book. We've got Batman Off Gotham Knight art book. And then, it's not going to go well, is it? Let's have a look here. This is the one I want to show you. The Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam art book. That came with my um, Blu-ray set. And it's just got like, pictures inside of different ships and characters. So I can't really show you properly on here at the moment. I might do an art book collection video. Anyway. So at the top we've got my 3DS, that is my Triforce 3DS, uh, there's a couple of uh, things for it, uh, another collector's edition here, I don't have too many, but this is Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, and then we've got Neo Kuni 2 Ronin Kingdom's King's Edition, oh I got to show you this, <laughs> Megaphobia Oakwood Park. A uh, theme park I've been to a few times. This was many years ago, me and one of my good friends. There you go, there I am in the blue shirt on Megaphobia, my first big roller coaster, looking scared as anything. Chris there is just looking laid back and I don't know, she seems to be having a good time as well. And that guy's got his, trying to put his finger up Chris's nose, but yeah, Megaphobia. Focus. It's not going to focus it. <laughs> That's enough of that. Okay, so, put that a bit there for now. Uh, coming down then, we've got my microphone. That's what I use, uh, my blue, what's it called? Snowball Ice Blue Phone, whatever it's called. Uh, I use that for my audio commentary on my Tubers High School Challenge videos mostly. We've got a Legend of Zelda Tribe Princess collection set there. Uh, that comes with the Link White Wolf Amiibo. Or Wolf Amiibo, whatever it's called. Still haven't played that, by the way. This is my Turtles collection, all the old classic series. We've got Frogger on top, keeping it safe. You've got to be careful of this, right? Because it moves. And if you pick it up, you've got to pick it up at the bottom because that comes off. And then you've got all the discs inside it. So that's pretty cool. There you go, stay there. And, of course, no room is complete without a penguin. 
Okay, guys, time for the glass display cabinet. I'll try and get back a bit so you can see a full view first before we delve in. That'll do, I think. Okay. So the top shelf is dedicated to all things Batman. So we've got a lot of these Batman 66. Uh, I think these are from Diamond Select. So we've got Batman doing his favourite Batusi dance. We've got the Joker. We've got King Tut. We've got the Kid Catwoman. We've got Julie Newmar Catwoman. Uh, we've got Robin in the back. Normal Batman. Uh, Batgirl. Let's try and get a better view of her. She is. Don't again, I've dusted all these this morning, so I'm just going to speaking of dusting. Here's Alfred, uh, Penguin, uh, the villain who made the most appearances in the Batman TV series, actually. And here we have the lovely Batgirl, again, or Batwoman. I think it's Batgirl. Uh, I saw this in Forbidden Planet quite a few years ago now. Really, in, I really liked it. The look of it, holding the Batarang. Um... So yeah, I just simply had to pick her up, and she is at the back there protecting everybody else. A couple of things I wanted to show you. This by here. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. This is a medal my great-grandfather won back in April 1911 uh, in Clan Braddock Open Wrestling Competition won by W.J. Lewis. This is my dad's side of the family. Yeah, and he won that. And my nan knew I liked wrestling, so she passed it on to me. So I'm keeping that safe. Over a hundred years ago, guys. That is crazy. hundred and nine years ago. So I keep that safe by here. With Batman, I've also got... If I can move Joker over. Oh, this is pretty scary. A Batarang. And one thing I will say... This is pretty sharp. You do not want to mess with it. If that goes in your eye or you catch your finger, it's going to hurt. It's proper metal. I bought that at Comic-Con. So if I put Joker back. Okay, let's go down onto the next shelf. So, of course, it had to be Bucky O'Hare, didn't it? So I've got my Bucky O'Hare action figures from Boss Fight Studios. I'm still waiting on them to release more, of course. Uh, we got Jenny on the end there doing the cheeky wink. We've got a dead eye duck with his forearms. We've got Pikachu there. Uh, we've got a toad. And then the second row, we have got Ash Ketchum with Pikachu, like I said. Uh, of course, you can't have Ash without Jesse and James, Team Rocket. And if I get up a little bit, because I'm being lazy and sitting down, we've got Meowth. Uh, behind Meowth, we've got a Legend of Zelda statue, Link there. If I can just turn him around a little bit, we can see him more. There you go, there he is. We've got Spider-Man. That came with like a comic collecting, collector's edition thing. Then we've got a bust of him. And then we've got more Diamond Select Batman uh, figurines. We've got the Riddler, Mr. Freeze, Egghead, Mad Hatter, and Buckworm. Reading a book. What's he reading? So yeah, I see I do not have enough space in this cabinet for everything. Uh, the next figure I'm hoping for Bucky O'Hare is Bruiser. He's been, I pre-ordered him like a year and a half ago. It's just taking ages to, well, game production happen. So hopefully before long it'll be done. Right, this is more kind of a gaming anime shelf now. Well, I know we had Pokemon up there, but whatever. Okay, so we've got uh, Young Link. Bought him when I was in Japan. We have got Sora from Kingdom Hearts there. One of my favourite games. Uh, my favourite statue is at the front. This is Lloyd Irving, the hero from Tales of Symphonia. I just love that statue. I think it's really cool. What else is also cool is Earthworm Jim. Um, I bought that on Forbidden Planet some time back. I think I need to dust his hand, actually. I missed that bit. But yeah, that's a cool statue. And he's just giving... What's he? He's, he's looking at um, Link, maybe. Uh, we've got... Oh, what's his name? CL Phantom High from Black Butler at the back there. Uh, Kirito, uh, best friend, bought me that in Japan. That is the version from one of the films. Pretty cool. And then we've got Darkwing Duck. Oh, and someone else there as well. Uh, I didn't realise how big Darkwing was when I first bought him, but he is quite a size. Uh, by there as well, we've got Yaren Eager uh, from Attack and Titan, looking quite angry. And we have got uh, Link Amiibo by there. This bottom shelf, I'm only going to give you a quick glance because 
Earlier on, I had all this out on the bed, and I thought it'd be a lot quicker if I filmed that separately. Okay, guys, what we do have, though, to the side, oop, is broken glass. Uh, this is where I keep all my animation cells. Let's just get one out. Who's it? Who's it going to be? Brave Star. And see, who's never watched, but there's loads of these on eBay. That's why I picked one up. Ah, I did my rare one, Marine Boy. So that's cool. But yeah, we got loads of those. I'll put that down there for now. Uh, yeah, so expect another video showing you this self shelf quite quick. But I haven't shown this, so if I just get this out, um, that is an original Marine Boy advert from back in. 1964, wow. Wednesday, March 23rd, 1966. Oh, it's 1966, do apologize. Uh, advertising the anime. So there you go. It's pretty cool. And then we just have two uh, collections of Rainbow Sentai Robin uh, vinyl records, basically. So I'm going to put that back here. That's the back of one of them. Bought this in Japan as well. And I've got volume one and five, I think. There are more. I do see these out there, so I can collect them if I want to, but I don't know. There you go. Right then, guys, what is next? Okay, so quickly then, i got some sliding cupboards. Let's see what's behind them in sliding door one. Oh, hey, look at that. So this is where I keep my retro games. I've got this little... Uh, bit on the side. I never know what to call these things. The top there we have got some of my Sega Mega Drive collection. Sonic 3 and Cannon Fodder are quite new to the collection. But then I've got some of my originals behind it, like the Lion King, my Marvel and Power Rangers. Uh, Crackshot and Golden Axe 2 are new actually. There we go. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. I'm talking about games falling. Bear with me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Streets of Rage 2, one of my favourite games, Worms, Micro Machines, Micro Machines 96. Um, I've got a lot of... I've got all the Micro Machines collection. Uh, down here then, because I've got no space, I've got Mega Games and Fantastic Dizzy, but behind that we've got... Well, we've got a few more. Mega Drive on the side, we've got Three Ninjas, uh, Kickback, and FIFA 97. Then we've got some NES games, Blaster Master, Hook, Bucky O'Hare, awesome game, trust me, play it, you will not be disappointed. And then that collection goes on behind it as well, but I've shown them before, so we'll move on to the third shelf. It's my Elgato, I used to record the Tubers High School Challenge with. Behind that on this shelf then we have my Snares collection. Um, I didn't have a Snares as a kid, so these are like all newly bought. Um, and some Japanese ones at the back, Super Famicom, um, which I got mainly from, I got some from Steve, through friends of his, Retro Ed Steve, and some I actually picked up in Japan of Dragon Crest, and of course a box of Rim Jim. What's this for you? Assassin's Creed Origins. Okay. Um, the rest of the shelf, to be honest, is just little bits and bobs. It's not too much. Just like a few accessories. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, we are now at the top of the cupboard, in the middle side and door. So just quickly, I do apologise for the mess up here. I haven't sorted this part of my room out yet. It is on my list because I'm still in self-isolation. Um, no, that's not too bad. Okay, so by here we have the Commodore 64 Mini. Um, I've only played that once so far. How shocking is that? Um, at the back here from Japan, I bought this um, in some kind of back, in the back streets of Tokyo, I bought this. Um, someone online told me of the shop I went there and he did actually have Marine Boy merchandise so that's the P1 ship model you can make there. Under that I've got the bat cycle you can put together and um, the ship from Super Jetta. I've never been very good at putting things together though so that still hasn't happened. We've got two books here. It's going to be random comics now guys. Let's have a look. What have you got under here? Ah, they might book your hair comics. These are the ones I have doubles of. So if anyone's interested in Bucky O'Hare comics, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Um, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I've uh, got my Wii U that I'm not using at the moment, so I put it away. Um, we've got some more comics. So basically, as you can see down here, this is just full of comics. 
And of course this, Neil Armstrong's Book of Hainan Todd Menace. This is a compilation of the graphic novel. So yeah, there you go. Bucky's point is something going vroom, vroom. Awesome stuff. One of the best franchises of all time. Oh, there's those Batman vs. Godzilla stickers I had. Uh, so, what comics are these in? Oh, these are my Back in My Son Mars comics I recently bought. As you can see, I've just put them on the top shelf here. What else have we got? Ah, Power Pack. I've got the entire collection of Power Pack, Marvel. Um, sorry, I've covered your nose by the dude. Galacticus. Galactus, even. Back in the day, yeah, so this pal by here, I think these two pals actually, a completely power pack. What's this? Dex's Half Dozen was a comic I had free from Cardiff Comic Con. Yeah, guys, so not much, too much up here, but I'll show you quickly now the end shelf. Okay, so as you can see, we've got loads more clothes here. However, uh, so these are the two pals I just showed you. This one is like all animals of Farvin Wood. <laughs> yeah. So I got these down from the attic when I was doing my um, 90s kit animals of Farvin Wood. So these are all the Farvin Wood comics. I've got the, the annual by there as well. Zoom me, yeah, focus. Anyway, Samuels of Farvin Wood annual. Um, what's all this? Uh, some books from PlayStation Magazine, The Art of Far Fancy. And then I've got, oh, that's an awesome book. Let's see if I can get this out. Um, point and click. That is where someone has taken proper TV shows and uh, he's made a book. He's done pictures of what they would look like as a classic point and click game like Monkey Island. Very good book. Um, Pete has also got that. He will back me up how good that book is. So if you want that book, point and click, Andrew Sh Sh I wouldn't even try to pronounce the surname, don't want to offend you. Okay, at the very end here then, we have some old Batman storybook annuals. So I think these are like released in the late 60s, so they're based on the 66 TV series. And then I have some uh, collections here, uh, Batman Chronicles. These post uh, will publish stories from the original Batman comics and Detective Comics. And then I've got ones posted in the war years 1939 to 1945. So plenty of Batman going on. Okay, in the middle of the um, sliding doors then, we have got my book collection. So I've got the Biker Mice and Mars books. Then we've got a Batman 66 Celebration Classic TV Series book. That book is huge, I haven't started yet. Oh, we've got some, I think that's Peter Pan there, uh, from Fox's Peter Pan and the Pirates cartoon. Then under here, I'm not going to get them all out, you've seen them before in my annual collection video. These are my different annuals I've been collecting, like Stingray, that's Sonic, I can see the rings. There's Bike Mice in here, there's Thundercats, loads of cool stuff. What's this? That's my Space Invader plushie. Hey, hello. Uh, the shelf up front then has got more random books and Batman comics. And the Muppet Christmas Carol graphic novel, how awesome. Hey. Uh, that's basically it, I'm not going to bore you with like clothes and stuff. Okay. Uh, also in my collection of Bucky O'Hare action figures, we've got Stealth Bucky O'Hare and Astral Projection Jenny. So there you go. Okay, moving on. What is on display in this room then? Um, that's just random magazines. This is my 90s nostalgia wall that you've all seen before in the backgrounds. Um, my Muppet Treasure Island poster, which is far too, well, not far too big, but much bigger than I was expecting. And then at the top, my some of my favourite Nintendo games, NES Open Tournament Golf, which me and my friends always call Mario Golf. Back here, here once again. See what influence that has had on my life. Um, Super Mario Bros. 3, Streets of Rage 2 on the end, Pogs in the middle. Uh, one of my best friends gave me a Pog collection, his Pog collection, and the poster was inside it, so I thought, that has got to go on the wall, look at that guy. And here, actually, the magazines I was on about is the Bucky O'Hare comics. My full collection, protected in this lovely kind of bag, which I will be going through shortly. Okay, so let's go to the other side then. Oh, some awesome file fancy uh, stickers as well. Well, the top. Okay, maybe one. Cloud, then you got The Last of Us, uh, and whatever they are. 
Okay, this side seems to have reached better. So what I'm going to do with this wall is move these across slightly. So we've got more space for one in between there then. That'll go over a bit. A bit of plastic off the wall where uh, I took some blue tack off. This, by the way, what you're seeing today is going to completely change. I mean, well, if I get my own place, no point doing it all. Peter Pan and the Pirates, one of my favorite cartoons. Um, that poster came from a, a video shop. I'm really lucky how I find these things. And one of my most recent posters, Free Ninjas. Visual movie poster there. Okay, in the corner then, I have my Mario lamp. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Crash Nitro TNT under it. Um, of course, my Marine Boy Pop that I had custom made for me. Still looking awesome. Um, a book called Meddling Kids, which I actually bought in July last year when I went on a cruise to read, and I never finished it. I'm trying to finish. I'm trying to read more. That's why uh, it's not great, but... I mean, it's not bad. It's a good book. Super J is a French comic collection I've, I'm starting to collect. They're quite hard to find, but... I think I need 10 more now to finish the collection. My Apple Pencil, because I do some drawing for time time. Marine Boy Coaster. Uh, Marine Boy Box. Just some random stuff. Okay. Well, my Flash Wallet. Okay, guys. So, continuing the tour. This is the other side of the room. Uh, so, this is my setup by here. We've got my PlayStation 4. Got PlayStation 4 Dreams on top. A couple of DVDs. Um, PlayStation 3 still underneath. At the bottom then, we have my <coughs> modded Xbox, SkyQ, excuse me. Um, this is a DVD VHS combi. So I was using that to uh, record my old videos to DVD, like home videos and stuff. I don't do it anymore because it's kind of playing up. Uh, this is a Neo Geo magnet that Charlie Cat gifted me. And this is me chopping my friend's head heads off from... 2016 in Berlin, Christmas market. Great stuff. Okay, this is my childhood desk, would you believe it or not? I've had this desk for years, so the plan is to get rid of it. Actually, the plan is for all of this by here to completely change. Those shelves might go um, just because, well, I need space. I'm going to get a new laptop as well. I've been looking at laptops. I think I've settled on one. What I didn't show you guys was my DVDs on this side. So we've got some more here, we've got Bucky O'Hare, Biking West and Mars, Amazing Extraordinary Friends, that's a superhero series from New Zealand, we've got some anime, Animals of Father and Wood, Son the Hedgehog, Earthworm Jim, lots of cool stuff. Power Rangers as well, and Star Wars collection there. Um, by here we have a poster, this is artwork by an artist called James Hans. Um, it's, he basically does crossovers of like Winnie the Pooh and Star Wars, uh, Muppets and famous films. So by here we've obviously got Back to the Future, Doc and Marty, uh, and obviously they've been faced with Bunsen and Beaker. Beaker, my favourite Muppet of all time. So that is very, very cool. What's his glasses? Look at his glasses for. That's cool. Ah, very cool. Okay, so moving up. So on these shelves, I have a lot of my statues and books. We we got Batman sixty six books, different graphic novels. Um, yeah, just things I used to read years ago. I can probably actually I'm gonna get rid of all these books now because I've read them and I'm not gonna read them again, quite frankly. But let's have a look what we got. We've got Space Boy Sauron. I found it on eBay, and so I thought I'd buy it because it was cheap. Little figure. However, it's quite weak, so if you drop it, it all comes apart and you have to put it back together again. Cuphead! One of the most difficult games I've ever played in my life. But loved it. Um, Goldar from Power Rangers. Sword's a bit bent, but you know. And uh, the Milky Bar Kid. I love that. This is only one of like 2,000 made. Yeah, 387 of 2,000. So that was great to find on eBay. Uh, is this my neighbour Totoro? I think it is. Bought that in Tokyo in the Studio Ghibli Museum. Or was it Kyoto? One of them. Um, oh, see, I haven't changed the date for like four days. It's one of my favourites Metal Sonic. So, this is a stall at Comic Con that was making metal figurines of possible of different stuff. Um, and I saw Sonic on there, and it's quite cheap. It's like only £20. So, I thought it would be a lot more. So, I definitely picked it up. Got a cross. 
we have got some deodorant because it's not a good smell. Um, we got Crash Bandicoot in the Aku Aku mask holding my PS3 control pad. PS3, PS4, what is wrong with me? Then we've got Axel here from Kingdom Hearts 2 and a Heartless from Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2? I don't know. One of them, anyway. Let's quickly go to the top. And up at the top, we've got lots of Stephen King novels. Um, like I said, I used to be a huge Stephen King fan, but to be honest, like I'm going to get rid of a lot of these books. Um, I'm only going to keep then these figurines. So we've got Black Power Ranger, Sack, um, Pop. We've got Crash Bandicoot. We've got Batman. We've got Sam Eagle. We've got Peter Pan. We've got a Metal Slime from Giant Crest. We've got Big Hero 6. We've got Darkwing Duck, which you can now watch on Disney+. Plus. We've got um, Spider-Man Homecoming, Bobblehead. Uh, Sackboy from Little Big Planet, Slimer, you know what he's from. We've got the 66 Batman and Robin. At the top then we have got Beaker and Bunsen Christmas ornament. I love it, so I keep it out. We've got Donkey Kong Amiibo, uh, Cactar. I think that's from um, Legends of Final Fantasy game. Mega Man, Too Much Heartless, uh, Rock Lee from Naruto, Mini Baymax, Big Baymax. Then we've got Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Peter Pan again, Naruto statue there, Chewbacca, I can't remember what they used to be called, that kind of figurine. And we've got a Crash Bandicoot, um, squidgy stress toy box crate thing. So there you go guys, that is basically the room tour. So we've got all that cool stuff there. Boom! The posters and the things in the corner. So that's basically it. Not a great man cave uh, as compared to some, but it's my man cave, so that's all that matters, right? Okay, guys, so nothing more to be said apart from boom, see you soon.